We start off sitting in my friend Max's garage on a Friday loading up cars for a weekend in northern Indiana. We were headed down to Max's parents' house to strip down a Rex WRX Max bought from a friend back where he's from. I've done this many times before with my own cars and other cars, but nonetheless I was pretty excited. We stopped at a gas station shortly outside of town so my other friend Steven could fill up on E85 that his car is tuned on. I rode with Max and his 04 STI. It was a gloomy day, and between that and driving through northern Indiana, we didn't have much to keep us entertained with, except for some music and the occasional third gear pull. I sat back and played some tunes and relaxed after a long week. Steven drove his wagon down to help us haul some parts to where they needed to go. It's always nice driving in a caravan, be it small or big. Always makes me feel like I'm doing something important and official, even though we may just be going to grab some lunch. We got to the garage where we'd be working and took a look at the car. It was pretty messed up and a solid reminder that cars are made to keep the fleshy pile of meat inside it safe. The car took a front-on collision, and if I remember correctly, the driver was sitting at a red light when it happened. He wasn't at fault. Those feelings aside, we just had to hear the thing run. After pulling apart the front end and putting in a battery, this is what we got. Cool! We then took a break and piled into the rally wagon to grab some food at Noodles. I highly recommend the spicy chicken Caesar sandwich. We got back and kept working. Our goal was to get the entire drivetrain out of the car before it was stupid o'clock. Exhaust and drive shaft had to come out first. An hour past stupid o'clock, we finally had everything out and took a second to look at what Subaru has spent years on to engineer for people like you and I to enjoy. And then we slept. Woke up the next morning and chugged down coffee and got a text from Steven's tuner saying that he was available in two hours in Indiana. The big plan was for Steven to buy the external wastegate and Grimspeed uppipe from Max to toss on his car sometime in the next month. But with us in town and all the parts we needed in the garage, we just had to get that thing on his car today. Time would be tight, but if we couldn't do it, it would be weeks before we could work on it again and make the trip back down. So that needs to go on that. In two hours. In two hours. And that's dirty. Let's go. In three hours, the car had the uppipe and wastegate replaced and was tuned and ready to go. We got word the first car meet of the year got moved to Sunday, so we headed home and got back to work to remove the rear diff and be at a good stopping point to call it quits for the weekend. We slept again. Woke up on Sunday and loaded up the wagon with everything to be taken to a storage facility. Our pack mule took a wrong turn, but eventually we got there and moved everything inside. It also turned out to be the nicest day we have had in well over two months, so we soaked up the sun and got excited for the meet later. We drove back to Kalamazoo in a leisurely manner. <laughs> Picked up my car that was parked in Max's garage and quickly headed out to meet up with some other cars to caravan to Lake Michigan for the meet. We had six cars driving with us, the perfect amount to be fun but not be a hassle. As I drove down the highway about an hour and a half west to Lake Michigan with my friends on the first nice day in two months, it felt good to be doing something important again. I turned up with you then. We got to the meet, which was at a local burger joint that didn't even take credit cards. There were a lot more people than we had expected, but everybody was friendly and felt very, very nice to be at a car meet. Then we got hungry. How do you like your burger, Steven? It's fantastic. Oh yeah. After dinner, we headed down to the beach to enjoy the scenery and take pictures. We had well over 60 cars, all of them different in their own ways, and a meet that started out as just a few Subaru guys getting together. The scenery was nice and the weather was perfect. Driving home, the sun went down and I felt super relaxed after a long weekend of working. I played some dead mouse.
pulled into my dorm parking lot and sat with my car idling after being gone for nearly four days. What a way to spend a weekend.